Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Logs question from 2013. So scientists can estimate the age of certain ancient items by measuring the proportion of carbon-14 relative to the total carbon content in the item. Okay, so the formula used is Q is equal to E to the minus 0.693T over 5730, where Q is the proportion of carbon-14 remaining and T is the age in years of the item. Okay, so let's highlight some important stuff. So Q is the proportion of carbon-14 and T is the age in years. Okay, and they're the only two variables in this formula, a Q and a T. So part A, an item is 200 years old. So if I match the years to the years, then I know that that means that T, which is the age in years, is not 200, 2000 years old. Use the formula to find the proportion of carbon-14 in the, in the item. So I need to solve for Q. So the formula Q is equal to E to the minus 0.693T over 5730. Okay, so that's, I need to sub in for T, 693, and this item is 2000 years old over 5730. Okay, so where's my calculator? Hit E to the power. Okay, it's, it's sitting behind the LN button on the right. So shift ln, so e to the power, I'm going to hit my fraction button straight away, put in the minus 0 0.693 bracket 2000 on the top and hit down and put in 5730. So I have got 0.7851. Okay, so that is the amount of carbon-14 in the item. Part B, the proportion of carbon-14 in an item found at Lac Bura, County Offaly was 0 0.3402. And I know from highlighting that Q is the proportion of carbon. Okay, so that must be a Q figure. Estimate correct to two significant figures, the age. So I need to solve for T. Okay, so just like before, take down the formula. So Q is equal to E to the minus 0.693T over 5730. Okay, I'm just going to del delete out that little E because that should be down here. Everything, everything here is in the power of that E. Okay, so let's put in the 0 0.3402. And that's equal to E to the minus 0.693T over 5730. Okay, so what, what we need is in the power, which means we need logs. Okay, you're always going to use logs if what you need is in the power. OK, so I have nothing in front of the E, so I don't need to divide across by anything. I've literally just a number equal to E to the power. So I can go straight for the opposite of log of E is log to the base E. OK, well, maybe I'll explain what I'm doing. You can either do the switch to find the, the power, because when you get the log of a number, it gives you the power. Or you can use these two rules here where you cancel a base number with log to the same base number. And I tend to use um, I tend to use these ones, but nothing wrong with the switch. It's the same thing. So because the base number here is E, I will use log to the base E, okay? Because when I do that, E and log to the base E cancels there on the right, okay? And of course, what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I have to get log to the base E in this side. Uh, log to the base E, yeah, what I do to one side, I do to the other. So 0 0.3402.
Okay, so let's put log to the base E or, or LN, okay? So always remember log to the base E is the exact same thing as LN, okay? Uh, log to the base E is used so often, um, especially in science, that they have given it its own name and its own button on the calculator. So LN of 0 0.3402, I am getting minus 1.07822 for that. And that's equal to minus 0 0.693T over 5730. Okay, if I go back to this rule, when you cancel A and log to the base A, your answer is whatever was originally in the power. So this was originally in the power, which therefore the right hand side becomes equal to that. Okay, I'm going to multiply both sides by 5730 so that it cancels off the right. So I'm stripping away everything from around the T here so that I solve for T. So let me multiply that answer that I got by 5730. And I got um, minus 6178.2. 2.09762 is equal to minus 0.693 t. I'm then going to divide everything by 0.693 minus 0.693. So divide that by minus 0.693, and I got 89. 15.1656 years. Okay, quite a lot of years. Um, and then it says estimate correct to two significant figures. Okay, so not two decimal places, two significant figures. Okay, and, and what that means is that you literally put down just two main figures. So when you have a number like this, the most significant figure, and if you think about money, it's the easiest way to get your head around it. The most significant figure here would be the eight because it would be 8,000. 900, 110, five units. So eight and nine are the two most important or the two most significant figures in this sum. Okay, so my answer then could not be 89 because there's no way you could represent 8,950 with 89. So instead of putting in the non-significant figures or leaving them out, you put them in as zeros, okay? So it's 8,900 years, okay? So that is 8915.1656 to two significant figures. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.